Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we are going to do uh, yet another example from this uh, textbook. The example that we are going to do today uh, is um, in section 6.3.3 and this is a binary to BCD conversion circuit. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting and very useful and handy uh, in, in practice circuit. Um, I assume that you went through and uh, read uh, already this uh, chapter and you know what uh, we're talking about here. Uh, as a reminder, um, here is for example a binary number that is converted to uh, DCD uh, to be used then uh, to display that number on a 7-7 uh, LED display. Uh, the circuit is uh, not that difficult, uh, you can uh, check it out here. Uh, the uh, design entity binary to BCD uh, has essentially a binary number, in this case represented in uh, 13 bits, and uh, the output uh, will be four uh, outputs, uh, each represented on, on uh, four bits as shown over here. Uh, the testing circuit. Uh, for this design entity uh, is my own design of a uh, digital clock which uh, I have a block diagram for uh, over here at, at this address uh, it is essentially a uh, counter that will uh, count seconds uh, will count minutes and hours uh, in binary uh, those seconds, minutes and hours will be uh, input into three instances of this binary to BCD converters uh, which will uh, then be converted using yet another uh, set of instances of hexadecimal to 7 7 uh, display converters to drive the 6 uh, 7 segment displays on the D1 SOC board this diagram is for an older FPJ board uh, essentially everything stays uh, uh, the same in terms of uh, this top level design uh, entity. If you want to uh, follow the VHDL code of that, um, the uh, for instance, machine data part of the clock counter uh, is described using this ASMD uh, block, the block diagram that you see over here. Um, it's very simple to uh, follow and uh, I will leave that uh, as a uh, homework assignment to you. So, I was telling you that uh, in my case uh, the input into this binary to BCD converter instance would be represented on only uh, six uh, uh, bits uh, because uh, seconds and minutes they can uh, go from 0 to 59 uh, that's the maximum uh, number that we will need to display the hour goes only from uh, 0 to 11 or 0 to 23 uh, therefore 6 bits will be, six bits will be enough to represent uh, seconds, minutes and, and hours the output uh, of each of this uh, binary to BCD will be uh, 2 uh, outputs BCD0 and BCD1 uh, each represented on, on, on 4 uh, bits the top level design uh, entity of this clock uh, is this one uh, over here uh, we will use the 50 megahertz external clock signal uh, available on the D1 SOC uh, FPGA board uh, and a couple of uh, push buttons as well as uh, a slide switch as, as a reset signal and um, we will drive uh, all six seven seven segment displays on the D1 SOC board to display the seconds, the minutes, and the uh, hour. The architecture is a structure of description. You'll see here uh, component declarations, the clock, uh, the main clock counter, the binary to BCD component that we just talked about, hexadecimal to seven segment, uh, display a debouncing uh, circuit, and um, the MyAlt PLL, this is a PLL IP component uh, from Altera that uh, you need to uh, create and add to your this project using the Mega uh, Wizard SAP tool. Uh, some signal uh, declarations over here. Um, 
noteworthy uh, would be uh, this clock 2 megahertz uh, which will generate uh, by slowing down the 50 megahertz clock uh, signal from the uh, um, crystal quartz uh, that will belong to you on uh, uh, SOC. Uh, and then after uh, begin here you will see uh, some uh, single assignments and uh, component instantiations including this uh, clock uh, uh, generation uh, instance which instantiates that my alkyla uh, the clock counter uh, that will take us as an input to the 2 megahertz clock uh, we're working with the 2 megahertz clock uh, rather than a 1 megahertz clock because the alkyl Altera PLL uh, IP doesn't really uh, generate exactly one one megahertz, but uh, two megahertz is is um, good enough because uh, that that would be um, easy to count to make up for one uh, second. That would be our lowest uh, time unit uh, to increment seconds. Um, and then um, uh, you see here uh, binary to BCD uh, as well as uh, has to seven segment. Uh, uh, component instantiations for uh, seconds, uh, minutes, as well as uh, hours. So, not too uh, complex or very uh, structure over here. So, I did already uh, um, take care of all the pin assignments. I, uh, I ran the uh, synthesis, placement and routing, I generated the distant file, I programmed the PG board uh, and um, I'll show you now how uh, all right uh, now the FPG uh, is programmed uh, the slide switch uh, the first slide switch is uh, used as a reset signal which right now uh, keeps the, uh, the clock in a uh, reset uh, state if I uh, switch it then uh, the clock starts counting uh, seconds uh, which will count from 0 to 59 minutes that will count from 0 to 59 and, and then uh, uh, the hour that would count from 0 to 11 or 0 to 23 depending on how you have it uh, programmed inside the uh, FPGA uh, code. Um, the push buttons uh, are used uh, as follows. If you want to set the minutes, uh, you have to use key 1 uh, while pressing uh, key 3. And you can set the minutes to whatever minute you would uh, like. If you like to set the hour, you have to use uh, key 2. Uh, so, for instance, right now I set it to 9.14, uh, I, I let it go, and the uh, counter, uh, the clock will, will uh, start counting. And that's, that's pretty much it.